Hey guys, Miss Elizabeth here. I thought since we can't have story time, we can't have book club, art classes or anything, I've really missed you guys and I thought maybe you all might be missing some of our activities. So I have an art challenge for you. I'm going to walk you all through it and let you see different ways to do it. I want this to be something that anybody can do at home. So get creative and use things around the house if you don't have the exact item. Let's just have fun with this. And when you're done, I would love to see a picture of what you've created or maybe a video. So all we're going to need is we're going to need a watercolor paper. If you don't have that, you can use cardstock. If you don't have cardstock, maybe a paper plate. You don't have to go out and buy anything. We should be able to find stuff around our home. The other thing you'll need is some kind of color. We're going to need watercolors or we could use washable markers. So I'll use both of those so that we can see how that's going to look. So I will get started and we'll give this a try. And if these art challenges are fun, maybe I'll try to come up with something new. This one fits in with how much rain we've been getting lately. It's going to be a help. You'll see what I mean. Okay guys, I have a cup of water. I have a couple of brushes here, it doesn't matter what size. The first ones I could grab. And I have already put a few drops of water in my watercolor here so that all those rich colors can start to happen. I'm going to start with red. And for this first picture, I'm just going to do like a rainbow design. Who doesn't love a pretty rainbow? And I'm going to make sure these are very thick on here. Look how good and dark that is. So there's my first picture. So I'm going to scoot that aside here in a second and then I'm going to try a different one in a different way so that you guys can um, have another option. Okay guys, so the second one, I'm just going to do a fun little design, nothing crazy. And I want you to know when you get started. The picture you have in your mind that you're wanting to do. Part of our activity is putting these either out in the rain or spraying them with the bottle. So let's say you were moved to paint a beautiful picture of your grandmother. Well, grandma might get a little ruined out in the rain. So this is more for um, just wild, crazy swirls and just bright, happy colors that are all going to bleed together. So um, you are more than welcome to do a picture of a family member, but just don't be disappointed when we put it out in the rain. So uh, we'll get started here. I think I'm finished with that one so I will slide that one over and start one with my magic markers okay so now I have us a, a plate here just a plain paper plate 
and I have our markers and like I said get creative at home Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. You could go all the way out to the edges if you wanted to, but that's my weird little design. <laughs> so um, I'm going to set these all aside so they can dry, and then when I see that it's sprinkling outside, I can go and lay them outside and catch the raindrops. And so I just found a few pebbles to lay on top to weigh them down so they won't blow away, and then I'm going to let nature do its thing. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about how these are turning out. I did have to cheat just because the rain had stopped and I needed to get this video done for you guys. So if you're not able to play out in the rain or if you just don't want to and you'd like to try it a different way, here's how I did it. So I just got a cup with some water in it. Just dip my fingers in there and I let it drip over top of my painting. So everything's looking really neat right now. Um, I will let it sit and dry and I don't know how it'll turn out when it dries but it looks pretty neat right now. So just um, a tip, don't let it get too soaked um, and wash away all your color or test it out, see what happens. Just have fun with this. So that's it for our art challenge. I hope you guys have had fun. Please send in your pictures or videos. Let us know how yours turned out. And I hope you guys have a great time.